In the indexing strings exercise, we write a program that does this. It prompts the user to choose a phrase. So we'll choose a phrase. Hello world. And then it says your phrase is hello world. Which character would you like to see? And then you enter a number. So if we enter four, character number four is O. And that's the O in hello. Remember the H is character zero. Then the E is one, the L is two, the other L is three, and the O is four. If we run it again, choose a phrase. Already there. Which character would you like to see? Let's say seven. Character number seven is H. The challenge to this exercise is to return the character that the user thinks is at that number. In other words, instead of starting with zero, we start with one. So character number four in Hello World would be the second L, H-E-L-L. -L. We start with the code shown here, and we'll delete this line. It says replace this line with your code. So the first thing we need to do is prompt the user to choose a phrase. So we'll assign that to a variable, phrase, and then input, choose a phrase. And the next thing we need to do is print that phrase out. Let's start with just this, print phrase. We'll run that to make sure it works. Choose a phrase, hello world, hello world. So that works, except that we want it to print out your phrase is hello world with hello world in single quotes. So the first part of that is your phrase is and a single quote. Like that. And then we separate the next argument with a comma, phrase, and then another comma, and then we need to close single quote. So let's run that. Your phrase is hello world. But notice that hello world is surrounded by spaces within the single quotes. So let's fix that. And the way we fix that is to use the sep argument. The default separator is a space, but here we set sep to an empty string, so that space won't show up. And if we run this a third time, choose a phrase, hello world, and you can see now hello world is within single quotes with no spaces. The next piece is to prompt the user for a character. So we'll set that to POS for position. Input, which character would you like to see? Enter number. OK, there's something we'll need to fix there. But for now, let's jump to the next step, which is to print the character that the user wanted to see. So print phrase position. POS contains the number that the user entered, and that's the index we need. The problem is that POS is a string. When we prompt the user for input, whatever they input is returned as a string. And what we need here is an integer. So we can fix that with the int function. And now this should work just fine. Your phrase is hello world. Which character would you like to see? Four and it shows us the letter O. Instead of just showing the letter O, we can say the character at position, and the position is POS, is, and then the character. Let's run that. Oh, save. Choose a phrase. Again, hello world. Your phrase is hello world. Which character would you like to see for? The character at position 4 is O, except that the user doesn't think that the character at position 4 is O. The user thinks the character at position 4 is L. So let's fix that. And the way to fix that is simple. We can just subtract 1 from int position here. There are different ways of doing this, but essentially when we output the position, we want to output what the user actually thinks the position is, so what they entered. But when we output the character, we want to start with one character before the number that the user entered. One other thing we'd like to do is to get single quotes around that character. In order to do that, we need to add some spacing. And then again, set the separator 
to an empty string. All right, let's run it. Choose a phrase, hello world, character number four, and the character at position four is L. Very good. Next up is a reading on slicing and then an exercise on slicing, which we'll review in a presentation.